up guys this is Andrew from All Right Solutions welcome to the first video of many to come hopefully um, in this series of uh, videos we're going to be covering creating a web service using C Sharp to return a JSON um, string it's going to be a RESTful web service using uh, HTTP handlers so in this particular case <clears throat> I've got a, a website hosted um, which uh, obviously is uh, dot, using the .NET framework um, we're using SQL Server as well which comes with the, the hosting um, so we've got a little um, database there that's going to hold the data that we're going to return back to the client as a JSON string okay so first things first uh, we need to create a new project um, using in my case .NET Framework 4 and I'm going to be going for a class library <clears throat> so I'm going to create uh, three DLLs um, one for the presentation layer one for the data access layer and one that's going to hold um, some, some types okay so um, so I'll just give this class a name I'm going to create a directory for the solution. We'll just OK that. <clears throat> so, hopefully, at the end, end of all these videos, um, the next series of videos is going to be based on um, Android. Uh, we're going to create a, a simple um, Android application that's going to talk to this web service that we've created and um, create a, a basic list view that's going to list the um, data returned from the JSON service. There is an easy way of doing this basically. What we could do is instead of having three separate projects for the data access layer and, and the presentation layer and the class types, um, we could just stick it all in one one uh, one class basically um, I mean you could do that if you like um, just so you can get it going okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to rename this class and I'm just going to call it service just to keep things si simple if we go to file new project um, so we're going to have this project within the solution and this is going to be the data access layer so I'll just call it the access again class library .NET framework 4 uh, save that first That's better. Okay, and we're going to rename this class. Let's call this DAL for data access layer. <coughs> and we're going to need another, another project. And this is going to be for the types. I'll just call it types. Um, in this case, it's going to return a list of um, Android applications, so I'll just call it applications. Application types, maybe. Okay, so if 
first thing we need to do is we need to add in a few references so we can use the um, HTTP handler so for that we need system.web extensions and system.web as well I think that's all we need so we need to <coughs> Need to interface with the IHTTP handler. We're going to be using a connection string as well, um, which is accessed via the settings file. Um, it's just the way I, I do it, with it being web based. Um, so that's just going to be a string. Also, we'll need references to the other two projects that we've got there for the data access layer. Um, so we need to add a reference in projects okay that <coughs> excuse me Okay, because this um, is going to be running on IAS, we need to make sure that uh, the process is reusable. Because um, so we're going to be having potentially multiple incoming instances created. So, first thing we need to do is um, just uh, let the handler be known that it's reusable. Obviously, we need that, don't we? No, that's, that's just complaining that I'm missing the um, process request. So, the second part is we need to create the, um, <clears throat> the part which is going to handle the, re the request coming in. And that's going to be containing the um, the context of the process. Um, sorry, of the request coming in. Um, so when we come around to creating the um, the Android application, basically we're going to create um, named pairs. So basically, if you had uh, two text fields or text views on the Android application, we would then pass that in as um, as named types. Um, and then at this point when we come to the web service we're then going to pick them up from the context um, because the incoming request is, is going to be a post um, you can actually also using the get we can return values that way as well
So what we're going to need is a switch. And we're going to be looking inside the context at the request and the type of method that we're going to be listening for basically. And within this we're going to be handling the obviously the crud um, create read update and then delete as well. So in the case of a post We want to handle that. And if we're doing a, a get, which is basically just um, browsing to the URL of the service, we can return data as well. So as I said before, with the post, we can pass in named um, name types um, to return a value based on criteria. Or with, with the get, we can just browse to the URL and return a string of say show me all the companies for example Right, so what else I want to put in here as well is um, just do a static void. I'll just call this write response. And what I'm going to use this for is just to pass back um, pass back the response of results and any uh, error messages we may encounter as well. Okay guys, so I'll just keep that video nice and short for this uh, the first tutorial um, and I'll see you guys so shortly.